Recently, the latest photo of the Chinese J-20 stealth fighter emerged online. It reveals a J-22-seat fighter in an active service camouflage scheme for the first time. This is a major milestone for the only stealth fighter in service outside of the U.S., and a few changes can be spotted on this two-seat fighter, confirming the Chinese are improving the J-20 as more are rolling out of production lines. The new photo shows the J-20 fighter in dark gray camouflage, similar to the single-seater already in service. It indicates the two-seat J-20, which is the only two-seat stealth fighter in the world, is entering active service. The US F-22 and F-35 fighters only have single-seaters. Based on this photo, a few changes to the J-22 seater have been speculated online. The first is said to be a new optical and infrared sensor suite, while a pair of sideways sensors appear to have vanished from the design. The second one is the bump of the diverterless supersonic inlet. This part used to consist of two covers, one is the radio wave transmitter cover, and the other part is a common fuselage surface panel. Now it seems one single piece of transmitter cover replaces both. The third change is regarding antennas close to the engine inlet, which have been rearranged, likely reducing electromagnetic interference. This is also one of the best photos to observe the J-20's weapon bay and landing gear openings. Some claim the covers adopt stealthy tapes first used by the F-35 fighter, but that is actually a wrong conclusion. All the J-20 single fighters have the appearance of having tape supplied to their covers, but that is more of an optical illusion. From some photos we can clearly see there is no tape and it is just some panels have an angle that gives the impression of a darker stripe. The J-22 seater was first revealed in 2021. It made its first flight in the summer, and it seems to have completed initial test flights and been officially accepted by the Chinese Air Force. That allows the manufacturer to paint it with the official Air Force color scheme. In one of the latest photos, we can see the newly modified canopy in an open position. Comparing with the single seater, this canopy is much bigger and hinged at the rear to accommodate two pilots. There is a stud supporting the frame close to the rear seat dashboard. It seems the rear seat pilot does not have a proper head-up display. In this photo, the J-20 is still in yellow base paint. The radar dome is not painted, showing a dark gray color. Both photos show a good view of the weapon bay doors. The J-20 can carry PL-10 short-range air-to-air missiles in its side weapon bays. This weapon bay has a unique rotating launcher installed inside. It can rotate the pylon and the missile out of the weapon bay, then close the weapon bay door. This design keeps the pylon and missile in reasonably good aerodynamic shape, reducing drag and structure pressure, which is much better than the extended launcher design on the F-22 fighter. The main weapon bay can carry at least 4 PL-15 medium-range air-to-air missiles. Its two doors can open and fold, reducing the space required to operate the doors. Some experts say that the two-seat J-20 fighter is mainly for advanced combat missions, such as countering heavily protected ground targets. Training pilots is actually not its main role. In some media reports, the Chinese Air Force pilots have revealed that training with simulators is highly efficient, which is not a surprise as the Western Air Forces have proven this point for decades. The J-22 seat variant will allow one pilot to focus on tasks other than flying the plane, so that he can solely perform intelligence gathering situation awareness monitoring, or even control a combat drone fleet. Again, this is a major milestone in the J-20 project. The first major J-20 variant with a significant structural change is now in active service or will be handed over to active units within days or weeks. There is an analysis piece claiming that the Chinese will build enough J-20 fighters to have a quantity advantage against the US F-22 within the year of 2022. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, share and comment. It will really help us developing this channel. Thank you.